Well, we, we, I came up with something. You try it on for size. The Amazon move isn't the first time we've experienced Northwest corporate relocation anxiety. We're always competing to win and certainly not to lose. It is important to move our world headquarters to a new location. March 2001, Boeing stuns the region. The company, founded in Seattle, announces it's moving its corporate headquarters out of Seattle. Three cities are on the short list, Denver, Dallas, and Chicago, Chicago winning out. September 2017, Amazon makes its announcement it will not move, but establish a second headquarters somewhere else. In both cases, there are recriminations that the city and the state have created an unfriendly business climate. The nationwide rush is on to win the year's biggest economic development prize. Amazon probably um, created a little unnecessary drama. The time lost by the 200 and, you know, more than 200 cities that submitted a proposal when there's probably only 10 or 15 that were in the running in the first place. Community Attributes is a company that helps cities find companies and companies find cities. As you zoom in on an area and choose a site, we get a lot of data that refreshes over here. Chris Mefford is the president and CEO. The company studies the details. On the one hand, economic development is a numbers game, but it's not always about what's the cheapest, and it's a lot more complicated, especially for Amazon. But access to talent is the number one challenge that all companies in America are facing right now, which is why placemaking is so important. It's why culture and amenities are so important. But things aren't always one way or another. Amazon continues to expand in Seattle with plans to lease more buildings now under construction. Boeing built another 787 assembly line in South Carolina back in 2009 at a time when relations with its unions in the Northwest reached a low point. But after a multi-state search, Boeing committed to build its 777X in Everett. Both events introducing that anxiety. Is that a real thing? I think it is. And I guess that's, uh, that's a good way to frame it, actually. I think you know, the first challenge with it is our identity and our image. Nordstrom, REI, Costco, let's not forget Starbucks and Microsoft, all big companies still based in the neighborhood, even moves within the region. When the Russell Investments uh, moved its headquarters from Tacoma, it came to Seattle, Warehouser 2. So there's been a lot of movement. Is there some movement even in the mm -hmm. state? So what does Chris Mefford think we ought to be doing here in Seattle? You know, he is part of an effort really trying to up Seattle and the Northwest, Nakoma and everything in its game. He says we really have still sort of stuck as seeing ourselves as a second, sort of second tier city. Mm -hmm. He says we really need to be considering ourselves a global city. When you consider all of the names you saw then, and even when you think of Boeing, I mean the number of Boeing people who went to Chicago or, you know, like 500. They've mm -hmm. grown that a little bit there. I've been to their corporate headquarters several times. Uh, but this is still the, still the center of gravity. When you think of Boeing, you usually think of here still. So mm -hmm. that's there. This is the head of commercial airplanes. A lot going on. And Seattle is still ranked fairly high, isn't it, Glenn, in terms of one of the best places to do business? Yeah, and that's, you'll, you'll hear that. And, and again, remember when, Q, when HQ2 was announced, it was like, what did we do? What did we do? And there's the there's sort of the pushback on that. I mean, we know Amazon gets blamed a lot for, like, higher housing prices, mm -hmm. things like right. that. Um, Forty-five thousand people, additional traffic, all that's part of it. And that's what Mefford also talks about here: is is getting to that point, still being able to mitigate those kinds of problems. Did he even mention a PR campaign or just kind of general talking yeah, ourselves I think up? Yeah, <laughs> I think we're going to be I think we're going to be seeing a lot more on that. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. Glenn, thanks.